What's going on my crew? This is Rusty and welcome to another episode of Rusty Discovers. We are playing Engineer's Life and uh, in today's episode we're going to be working on finally getting some automated power. So I'm really excited about that but obviously I got some things to show you guys. Uh, we've gone ahead and put some shaders on as well as uh, we have put in a little tiny texture pack here. The, the differences are pretty subtle. Um, not easy to sort of pick up right off the bat, which is what I like, but there are some differences. We've done a house upgrade. We're put on a second story for our storage up there um, and went with some, some windows here. Uh, we can't make glass yet, apparently. Um, so that's sort of what I went with. Um, I've made some food for myself, uh, just a couple things like cucumber salad, made some juices, uh, and um, I wasn't super like set on the idea of like showing the steps in making the cooking until we get to, um, um, what is it, cooking for blockheads or something like that. So uh, enough of talking about what we've done let's talk about what we're going to do looks like we got some rewards to nope I got two more that I need to make um here we are we want to make uh, both the axle the gearbox and then finish off with the windmill uh, this is gonna be super important because to get anywhere we're gonna need to be able to um, hook that up with our guy right here so I want to make a windmill um, that operates either from here or from the front over here and goes right into the gearbox. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be right there. Always have our uh, millstone run so that we can um, be able to uh, run that uh, with whatever ores and, and everything we want 24-7. So what we want is we want to get some golden nuggets uh, and to get those we need a bunch of uh, torches which is just uh, wool uh, our sticks and then if we have our bucket not is it in the tool bin sometimes I forget Oh, nice. We got we got one right there. Perfect. Uh, we don't need the second bucket. Um, we're going to be pretty direct at, as to what we're searching for here. Um, so do torch. So that'll give us 12. And I actually don't think, I don't think we can make, um, we can dig out gold with a bone pickaxe. I think we're going to need to upgrade to bronze. wanted to show you guys something that I found out that some of you guys may know, uh, but I didn't. Um, I had a bunch of molten bronze, uh, like a tiny, tiny amount stuck in there. And I was trying to figure out how to put it out or get it out. And I stuck a bucket here. Uh, and what I was able to do is after putting an entire bucket full of bronze in here, I was able to get a bucket of bronze, molten bronze stuff. And that fills it right back up afterwards. Which is great. Uh, so now we can make ourselves a bronze pickaxe, which theoretically should be as good as iron as far as what it can remove. So I did want to find out... Yes! Perfect! So we can finally mine out some of these things, um, which is really good uh, because that means we can then turn around and uh, get our pickaxe... Uh, Upgraded one more time. But not yet. 
There's some sort of, uh, okay. Iron. By the way, anytime the top area hasn't rendered, we get those weird artifacts here. Oh, nice, nice, nice gold. This is what we came here for. This is what we need. Let's grab it and get out of here. In order to get the gearbox, we need this redstone latch. In order to get the redstone latch, we need three nuggets and a redstone. In order to get nuggets, we need one golden nugget to be able to make nine. Alternatively, any one of these things we can go in and put in for golden nugget. If we wanted to get gold, though, I'm thinking... Let's go ahead and put one of them in our grinder because we only need three to be successful. Um, and then we'll see what happens when we put it in the furnace. One gold bar. All right. We saved ourselves. Nine gold nuggets. Um, and then upstairs... We need to grab, what was it, redstone. Okay, and then we need some treated uh, stuff in order to get treated. Oh man, we're gonna, we are going to have a time. Um, well, let's at least get the redstone latch. There we go. Finally, here we are. We got the gearbox. Oh my god, was that way more time than is needed um yeah uh i had to make the bucket i had to get the bronze to make the gearbox so i'm sure someone of you guys out there can do that a lot quicker and have prepared a lot better for it and hopefully for uh future sort of uh things will be more prepared but for right now all that matters is we got that gearbox um, now on to bigger and better things we need to be able to use the gearbox uh, what we need to do is go here of course collect our reward our food crate nice uh, now we need to work on getting a wooden axle which this is gonna be a lot easier um, we're going to need two of them, one to connect the windmill to the gearbox and one to connect the gearbox to our millstone over there. Uh, and then we're going to need a, a rope block, um, which that's going to be a bit of a task, and then a windmill blade, which we're going to need eight of these leather straps and a bunch more treated wood. So let's talk about how we do that. Um, well. So if we look here, we've got our millstone and we've got a whole bunch of hemp. When we put the hemp in this millstone and do a lot of clickety clacks, uh, what that ends up doing is it ends up allowing us to get uh, somewhere, somehow we have it in here, uh, hemp fibers. Um, now hemp fibers then allow us to Crafting table, crafting table. Here we go. In a two by three grid, I am wrong. Uh, what is it? A two by three grid. <laughs> uh, we get hemp fibers here. And then from there, we do this. And now we've got our wooden axles. So, we're going to need a lot of wooden axles. Um, actually, sorry, not a lot of wooden axles. A lot of the... Uh, hemp fibers to be able to proceed forward. Because we need a lot of those. We need... Uh, let's do an actual count here. For the windmill, we need the one rope block. So that's going to be 6 times 9, um, which is, what, 54? Uh, so we need 54 of those, which is going to be a lot of food, a lot of time. Um, and I think that's probably one of the reasons why we keep getting food crates, is because we're going to need a lot of it. All right, here we are, putting the 
final touches on everything. Seems as though it is raining outside. Interesting. Uh, right, so now we're making the windmill, not that windmill, not that windmill, this windmill. Okay, so uh, one thing that I did do, uh, or did want to do rather, uh, is I wanted to actually make more axles than we needed. Um, just by a little bit because and even that might be too few might need to make one more um, so if we're gonna put it here is that gonna work how nice it is look at that all right and then we knock down this, put our gearbox here. We might need to move it around a little bit. I think that that's correct. No. Um, tools. I think we can smack it around with this. No. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's get our our uh, mill here. But now we have an automatic way of grinding down our stuff, which is actually pretty big, believe it or not. Our first automated system. Um, and if we look. <laughs> going everywhere uh, if we look at our next steps oh nice materials crate uh, is a saw a water wheel and then we're starting to get into the hibachi so well on our way all right so now that this is complete uh, we put in our hemp and see how this progresses along uh, eventually, obviously, there's a big trench in the front, <laughs> so we're not going to want to keep this here forever, uh, but for the now, uh, it works out really well. So we're going to sleep and take a look from the outside, because I believe it's going to look really uh, poopy, to say the least. Yep. As you can see, I fell into the trench that we've made, uh, but we'll seal it up like that and now we're good as new look at that and we've got ourselves a automatic uh, way to make hemp and grind out all of our minerals and, and everything so I'm really excited about that uh, and that's gonna be huge for making some more of these axles as well as a couple more gearboxes to make some more efficient use of our power that we've currently got. But that's going to do it for today's episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. Um, but until next time, guys. We couldn't launch this creeper. Come on. Launch that sucker! God! Until next time, guys. Happy mining and crafting!